Thomas, the swimmer that competes and wins a NCAA championship as a man against other women, and we say we must do nothing where track championship after track championship are being won by biological men competing against women. And so, and not just competing, but winning. And they're, they're bullying them, and they're antagonistic, and they're narcissistic, and they're cheaters, and they're all those things. And so some, you know, criticism I receive is, well, Charlie, aren't you a Christian? Don't you love that person? Of course we do. That person's made in the image of God. We should have compassion for that person. However... The question is then, what do you do with somebody that is suffering with a mental delusion? If somebody shows up at the airplane ticket counter and says, I have an imaginary friend, I demand two seats on a plane. You would say, well, I need to charge you for two seats. No, 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 it's my truth. It's actually, I'm a dual personality. You say, you're insane. If someone is anorexic and says, I need liposuction, you'd say, no, no, you're suffering under a mental delusion. If somebody says I'm offended every single time I see other people eat in public, do we stop eating in public? Do we now reaccommodate society for other people's mental struggles or issues? What we are living through is that we now have to change our customs, our code of beliefs, our behaviors for people that are personally struggling with something. That is evil, everybody.